my intention for mass is for Mar Michael and Margaret Reed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Today we celebrate the solemnity of all saints. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and the Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, by whose gift we venerate in one celebration the merits of all saints, bestow on us, we pray, through the prayers of so many intercessors, an abundance of the reconciliation with you for which we earnestly long. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw another angel come up from the east, holding the seal of the living God. He cried out in a loud voice to the four angels who were given power to damage the land and the sea. Do not damage the land or the sea or the trees until we put the seal on the forehead of the servants of our God. I heard the number of those who had been marked with the seal, 144,000 marked from every tribe of the children of Israel. After this, I had a vision of a great multitude, which no one could count, from every nation, race, people, and tongue. They stood before the throne and before the Lamb wearing white robes and holding palm branches in their hands. They cried out in a loud voice, Salvation comes from our God, who is seated on the throne and from the Lamb. All the angels stood around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures. They prostrated themselves before the throne, worshiped God, and exclaimed, Amen. Blessing and glory, wisdom and thanksgiving, honor, power, and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders spoke up and said to me, Who are these wearing white robes, and where do they come from? I said to him, My Lord, you are the one who knows. He said to me, these are the ones who have survived the time of great distress. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial song. The Lord 
Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. The Lord, our Lord, are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded upon the seas and established upon the rivers. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Who can ascend the mountain of the, of the Lord? Or who may stand in his holy place? One whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. The Lord is the people who longs to see your face. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, see what love the Father has bestowed on us, that we may be called the children of God. Yet, so we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be as not, has not yet been revealed. We do not know that when it is revealed, we shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is. Everyone who has this hope based on him, makes himself pure as, as he is pure. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. to me, all you ha who labor and are burdened. I will give you rest, says the Lord. Hallelujah. May the Lord be in your heart and on your lips as you may proclaim his gospel with the name of the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. <clears throat> A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain. And after he sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will be comforted. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, today we are honoring all saints. We have to, on, to take on account that the saints that we are honoring today, some of them are already canonized by the church. So that means that the church began a process to recognize them and put them in, in a book and to give them a date that we you know, we can honor them. But there are so many others that are not canonized yet. And we are honoring these saints. And something that is interesting is some of you 
are one of these saints. Do you know that? Yeah, you are these holy people that are seeking holiness, and you have to be glad for that. So today we are honoring all the saints that are already canonized and also the others that are not recognized by the church as saints, but that they are saint people. And also, we are honoring ourselves because we are called to be saints. So without holiness, we will not see the Lord. And this is in the Bible. So we need holiness to see the Lord face to face. And today we are, re we are remembering these people and also we are encouraging ourselves to continuously work and, and becoming a saint person. So the book of Revelation said that I had the number, I heard the number of people that were marked. So the people that were already in heaven, and this is a number that maybe is not, uh, it doesn't have the same meaning that we read it here. It said 144 uh, people. One was 12,000 12, uh, for one tribe, and they were 12 um, tribes in Israel. So this is, you know, a, a number that is not, maybe it doesn't have the same meaning that we read it today. But something important is that he said, I said a great multitude which no one could count from every nation, race, people, and tongue. So that means that there will be people for all over the world, and you have to encourage yourself to be counted on that number. So God cannot do anything for you if you don't allow him to do it. So this is the time to be ready for that moment when God will call you to his presence, and he will say to you, come to me, my son, come to me, my daughter, sit here in my right hand. So you have to work for your sanctity, and this is the time to do so. And there are many ways to work for our sanctity, and I want only to mention one that Jesus mentioned in the Beatitudes. So one of the Beatitudes that, that I like is, blessed are, are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. So maybe we can think that this kind of mourning is when we cry, when we suffer. And you will say, oh, I am suffering already, so I am blessed. But this is not what Jesus is um, meaning here. When you mourn your sins, this is what Jesus is telling you. When you commit a sin and you have pain for your sin, for example, when you commit a, a, a mistake against somebody, and you go to the person and you ask him or ask her uh, forgiveness and you know in order to show him or show her that you are repentant you cry for example so you are crying your mistake so when we commit any sin we have to cry and to mourn our sins before God because we want him to forgive us because we want to see him face to face. So if you don't have that pain, when you, for example, when you go to confession and you say, oh, I am truly sorry for having offended you when we say the act of contrition. So that, that's, that, that uh, sentiment that you have, it has to be true. So you have to mourn your sins before God in order to receive his forgiveness. And the other one and the last is blessed all day who hunger and thirst for righteousness. The Book of Wisdom says that the souls of the just are in the hands of God. So we had to be righteous people in order to see God. When we are righteous, God gives us eternal life. So just seek righteousness in your life. Be just before others and be just before yourself. And at the end, where God will give you your reward.
I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, come to stand with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified on the Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom we have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us present our prayers to our loving Father and ask his blessing on our world. For church leaders, may the Lord fill them with joy in their mission to radiate his love to all. To all. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. State and local officials, may the Holy Spirit guide them in promoting the common good and respecting the dignity of every person, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who feel alone or abandoned, may the Lord be their refuge and comfort, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here, may God continue to lead us in fulfilling the call to holiness we have, in that we have each received, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, May the Lord welcome them to his eternal dwelling in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Our petitions and intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, hear these prayers and grant them according to your holy will. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of our creation, for through your goodness we are received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands you will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of our creation, for through your goodness we are received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands you will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <clears throat> may these offerings we bring in honor of all saints be pleasing to you, O Lord, and grant that just as we believe the saints to be already assured of immortality so we may experience their concern for our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
He reigns truly right and just, our victory and our salvation. Always and every word to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For today, by your gift, we celebrate the festival of your city, the heavenly Jerusalem, our mother, where the great array of our brothers and sisters already gives you eternal praise. Towards her, we eagerly hasten as pilgrims advancing by faith, rejoicing in the glory bestowed upon those exalted members of the church through whom you give us in our frailty both strength and good example. And so we glorify you with the multitude of saints and angels as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created. Rightly gives you praise for through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. From the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as, as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrifice of victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, 
and those of our bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, Michael and Margaret Heath, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, to whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer one another a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. <coughs> Have mercy on us. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am no worthy that I should enter on the my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be filled.
Let us pray. As we adore you, O God, who alone are holy and wonderful in all saints, we implore your grace so that, coming to perfect holiness in the fullness of your love, we may pass from this pilgrim table to the banquet of our heavenly homeland. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. O Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sickness, and our hope, to the we cry, poor banished children of Eve, to the we send up our sighs, mourning, and weeping in this valley of tears, to the most gracious advocate, grant us your mercy toward us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus, O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, Pray for us, a Holy Mother of God. Amen. Heavenly Father, Jesus commanded his disciples to love you and one another. Your Son also commissioned his friends to make disciples of all people. By the help of your grace, through the intercession of the Blessed Mother, help all who worship you at Queen of Heaven perish to be and make disciples by loving you and others. May we always be dedicated to this mission above all other things in our encounter with the person you ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Go forth and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God.